Demoing Rails Routes. So I'm going to go back to the terminal to demo exactly how Rails routing works and what's going on here. We've seen a little bit by loading the app, but I'll hit Control C. So whenever we work with routing in a Rails app, there's a few things to be aware of. The first is that Rails helpfully contains a command. You may have seen this when we ran the help info. Uh, but Rails contains a command uh, called routes. And when we run this, Rails, the command line tool that runs our app, will build our routes file and output all of the information about the routes that exist in our application. And as you're sort of learning the structure of an application, super useful command to be aware of. This will always give us the sort of most up-to-date uh, information. Forever not sure what things are available, Rails routes will, will generate that for us. And it helpfully has a nice table here. It's telling us that we have a prefix called movie or movies. This is a thing that corresponds to movies path or edit movie path and so on. We have a URI pattern. So what is the actual URI that you would see in a browser? And what is the controller action that gets executed when a user accesses that route? And each of these, of course, also map to an HTTP verb, because a route is, again, a verb or a method and a resource. Rails calls them verbs. The name HTTP method is also something that you'll see in the text. So if I want to get a specific movie, Rails tells me that I have a helper named movie path. It maps to slash movies uh, slash ID, and it maps to the controller action movies show. And we'll look at that in a moment. All of this is generated. Let me open up the uh, Rails app here that we just generated. So all of this maps to our new Rails app. And in here, we have a Rails app, which has a routes folder, excuse me, a routes file within config. And by default, when we work with Rails, if we have all seven of our actions, Rails specifies resources colon movies. And this is Rails' way of saying that everything that I'm doing with my movies right now is exactly as configured. There's no customizations. Just give me those seven routes, map them to the same controller actions that it just told us it mapped to, uh, and it will continue on its way. So by default, it looks like not a whole lot is going on here. But really, this is one function in our routes file that does a whole lot of work for us. It is not the only way that we can do this. So the, the material that was referenced on the slide, we could, if you ever need to. And let's just invent that. You could always specify in your routes file exactly what's going on. And as was presented is completely valid Ruby code uh, that would generate uh, these seven routes. So as you're learning, this might be a more helpful way to sort of visualize what's going on. But Rails provides multiple mechanisms for generating these routes. So get an HTTP method, maps to a URL, maps to a controller action with a particular method name that we can use. And all of those then translate to something that we see uh, in the browser. So all of that in Rails routing is, is available just from a couple commands. So that's, that's Rails routing. Just a minor warning, depending on the version of Rails, recent versions use bin slash Rails in the chips. The version that you're using, it'll be rake routes instead of Rails routes. They operate exactly the same way, just Rails has sort of shuffled what file the commands are defined in.